Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of my first Maker Central 2024 charity build video. So if you didn't watch the first video, I'm gonna put a link just here for you to go and check it out, where we laminated it, all the wood together, we got them to the right size and I started doing the design. As you can see, this is as far as we've got. I have drilled out an external design so in this video, we're going to be clearing out the rest of the waste of this bit. We're going to be putting the central design in and cutting that out as well. And then, if we've got time, we're going to put some resin in it. I picked up some lovely entropy resin the other day. I'm going to fill that, probably going to make it red, may even make it glow in the dark. But this is going to look epic. I hope so anyway. Let's go. Okay, so this is taking longer than I thought. I'm using my Dremel with the upright attachment, but I think this is the best bit to use. So when you come back in a second, hopefully I will have a fully carved out outline bit. Well, there we go. So you can't really see it very well from that side, but if I flip it over, that, I know it's rough. I know it's really rough, but that is the inside profile that I need to refine now with a file, um, which is gonna get filled with resin. And then that gap in the middle is what is gonna have a little swirly design. Well, that was in the process, wasn't it? I've got everything now cut out for the internal design, so now I need to fill it with resin before I actually start any proper shaping. So that's what's gonna happen next. Being a how-to member uh, with Maker Central, I managed to pick up some lovely entropy resin for a very decent price. So if you wanna get some uh, nice resin from entropy, head over to the how-to website and uh, get yourself for that, if, especially if you're a member, because you get a discount. Now, I've never used entropy resin before. I have used glass class, and that was, what, from what I understand, very similar with the ratio. So I'm going to attempt to do this. I don't know how much I need for this, but I'm going to wing it and play it by ear. And I've still got some of this glow-in-the-dark red colouring pigment um, left over from when I did Ollie's sword. Put a link up there for you if you want to watch that, to watch the sting one. Uh, so I'm going to use that one to fill it and see how it all looks. Glitter. All I can do is apologize because um, apparently cameras don't start recording themselves. And I've just done this whole resin pour and haven't recorded a single bit of it, which is incredibly annoying. Maybe some slow mo shots of the bubbles popping would make up for it. Do you think? Okay, so we're gonna leave this one here. It has been shaped to roughly the correct shape. There is some more work to do on the edge, and obviously I do actually have to put an edge on it, but it has been nicely sanded, it's shaped, and the resin is okay. It's not perfect, there's a few blemishes, there's a few bits where I've nicked the wood and you know, not being able to do anything about it. There are a few different shades of resin. This bit is almost see-through, that bit's not. This is a lot lighter than that one, but it is what it is. I can only do, I'm not the expert of resin, but I think it looks really good. So in the next video, we're gonna be doing the guard, the pommel, and potentially the handle all in one episode, because I've got to get this tang right. But it feels nice, doesn't feel too heavy. 
and it's got a nice flow to it. So yeah, come and see me in the next video. Watch me do the rest of it. See ya.